Hi, it's David from Urban Astro, and today I'm going to talk about something that you should never do. Something that I've done, and in the process, I essentially have, have ruined my telescope. Now, this telescope has been a fairly good telescope for me. It has served me well for the past year and a half that I've owned it. But I have noticed that there is an issue with it, and that is it tends to suffer from pinched optics. And I'm talking about the Astrotech 80 EDT, or at least my copy of it has suffered from pinched optics. And I've noticed this especially when the temperature gets down below about 40 degrees. I generally tend to see evidence of pinched optics in my images. And so, of course, I went online to try to find out how do you resolve pinched optics. And I watched one or two YouTube videos where they talked about just backing off a little bit on the screws that hold the lenses together. The thought being that the screws are too tight and if you back off of them just a tad, like maybe an eighth of a turn, that that would reduce the pressure on the glass and you would reduce the pinched optics. I'm taking off the cover here, so give me a second. There we go. And so I did that. And at least here in Phoenix, it seemed to work. It seemed to resolve the issue. And Basically, I don't know if you can even see it here, but there are three screws here that hold the glass in place. And there's four sets of those that go all the way around. They're 90 degrees apart, so they're 90 degrees all the way around. And there are set screws that basically hold the glass together. And so what I did, and what the recommendation was, or at least from what I can remember, I mean, it was like a year and a half ago, so bear with me here, was the center screw was to just see if it was really tight. And if it was really tight, just turn it like an eighth of a turn in order to release some of the pressure on the glass. And I did that. There was like one screw that was really, really tight and in the middle and so I did that and it relieved the pressure and the pinch optics for the most part went away it was still kind of present but not as much as it had been and so I figured success and so I continued to image with the scope and imaged with it for almost a year and then I went to Mule Creek in New Mexico with two other astrophotographers and at Mule Creek, I encountered temperatures that I have not taken the scope into before. I remember one morning we got up and it was 13 degrees. Another morning we got up and it was 17 degrees. And I had really, really pronounced pinched optics issue. And I was trying to figure it out because it's like everything shrinks. So apparently the metal cell here shrinks at a different rate than the glass itself does when it's cold and so in the process of this probably shrinking at a faster rate perhaps than the glass itself that it put pressure onto the lenses and therefore it's caused more pinched optics and so i went in and and after the first night seeing that basically all of my images had these huge evidence of pinched optics i went in and i tried to find where on the screws which one was really kind of tight and there was two that were kind of tight but not very very tight and so i went ahead and i loosened them and in the process over a couple of nights of trying to chase this thing I ended up throwing the lenses out of collimation. And what that basically means is you can't get everything in focus. And as I'll show you in images here in just a little bit, you can see that 
the stars are really badly shaped, especially when you get towards the edges of the frames. What I really ended up doing was really just kind of throwing the alignment out of the three pieces of glass that are, that are in here. And I'm telling you that that's probably something you should not do <laughs> because essentially I've ruined the telescope. I can't use it. And it's just a nice paperweight at this point. I'm not sure that the cost of getting these lenses realigned is worth what the cost of the scope was. So, do not, and I repeat, do not play with the screws that hold your lenses together especially on the AstroTech version, because if you do that, you're going to throw it out of collimation. And there's really no way short of having an optical bench uh, where you can really fine tune this thing in order to correct the issue that you introduce by playing with those screws. And I had people tell me, don't play with those screws. And I went ahead and played with them anyways. Okay, so here I've got the image of the Pleiades that I did at Mule Creek on the screen here. And you can see first off that there's a significant issue here with pinched optics. And here's a clear example of that. You can see how that you've got this dark section right here that's evident on all these bright stars and you can really see it here on this particular star. It comes across this way and then there's a secondary one that's right there. You can see it over here. You just get these dark areas right here. Again, dark areas. You can see it right here and what it does is it, it kind of cuts the the shine of the star and then you get a, like a blackout area and then it picks back up again and then you get a blackout area on the opposite side of the star and that's essentially what pinch optics is so you can see it here on the large stars you can see it on all the bright stars so that was the first issue that I was encountering now at my home here in Phoenix I wasn't encountering necessarily bad pinched optics. There was still some pinched optics, but they were not as bad. Um, here in Phoenix, because it doesn't get that cold, at Mule Creek it got down below freezing. And in fact, one morning we all got up and it was like 13 degrees out. And I just think that the cold air really kind of um, created, if you will, the opportunities here for the pinched optics to really become evidently clear. But the other more disconcerting issue that I had was the star shapes. Now the star shapes are okay in the center of the frame. You come here to the center, the stars are for the most part round, although you get some misshapen stars as you can see here. Again, we're kind of pixel peeping here, but I think that that clearly illustrates kind of what the issues here are. So you can see the stars even here in the center are not perfectly formed and perfectly shaped. They're kind of oblong. They're not what you would expect from stars and the issue only gets worse when you come out here to the edges. When you come out here to the edges they're just horrible. Uh, they become almost like rectangles as you can see here with this one star they almost form like a rectangular shape with the diffract with the uh, pinched optics showing through especially the smaller ones here but you get these basically these rectangular stars now this is a processed image so i tried as best as i could to fix the issue in post-processing but even there you can only do just so much. If the stars are really poorly shaped, there's not much that you can do. But these stars are just, they're just, mis, they're just misshaped, they're misformed. And so that's why 
you really shouldn't play. <laughs> At least on the um, AstroTech versions, uh, you really should not play with those three screws that align your optics. Because apparently, in my attempt to remove the pinched optics, I threw my alignment of the lenses out, which basically renders the telescope pretty much unusable. And that's really, it's really my fault. When I first had the pinched optics, or when I first discerned that I had pinched optics, I did reach out to Astronomics uh, to ask them how I could handle it and how I could deal with it, and I never heard anything back from them. So I decided to go and tread where angels fear to tread, and in the end, I ended up pretty much ruining the scope. So. The scope needs to be replaced and replaced with a new scope and what that will be is TBD. So if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments down below and until next time, clear skies and happy guiding. <laughs>